I'm Jeremiah McKinnon. This is NEC News Today. Here now are the top cannabis news stories from around New England for August 4th, 2023. It looks like the deal that music icon Sean Diddy Combs had lined up to acquire cannabis businesses in Massachusetts has gone up in smoke. The long-awaited entry of music icon Sean Diddy Combs into the cannabis industry has come to a surprising halt. The $2 billion merger between multi-state cannabis operators Cresco Labs and Columbia Care has been terminated, effectively canceling the $185 million deal that would have included Combs. The side agreement would have provided Diddy with ownership of three dispensaries in Massachusetts, a production facility in Leicester, as well as retail and production facilities in New York and Illinois. The termination, occurring over a year after the initial announcement, disrupts what was viewed as a pivotal transaction in the cannabis industry. The Massachusetts Cannabis Control Commission is in crisis, according to its chair, after she announced that Executive Director Sean Collins has plans to depart from the agency by the end of the year. The Massachusetts Cannabis Control Commission now faces a daunting leadership challenge at a pivotal moment in its operations. Commission Chair Shannon O'Brien recently announced that Executive Director Sean Collins told her that he intends to leave the agency by the end of 2023. This news was announced during a public meeting by Chair O'Brien in a manner that took fellow commissioners by surprise. Additionally, the chair raised Collins' decision to take a 10-week family leave starting July 31st, right in the middle of a significant regulatory adjustment period for the Massachusetts cannabis industry. Chair O'Brien described the situation facing the commission as a crisis and informed her fellow commissioners that she intends to convene a meeting to facilitate further discussion on the topic within the next week or two. The commission's future course of action remains uncertain, and this uncertainty casts a shadow over the entire Massachusetts cannabis landscape. This week, while I was enjoying the beautiful summer weather, I determined to purchase some of the Pine Tree Blueberry Lemonade from Novel Beverage Company at my local dispensary. This is by far one of the best cannabis beverages in Massachusetts. It would be great to drink even without the THC. The combination of lemonade and blueberries is delightful. For the full review, including photos, please visit necnewstoday.com. A Rhode Island cannabis company raised some eyebrows after the check sent to officials to pay their annual license fee bounced twice. Financial irregularities at the Thomas C. Slater Compassion Center, a Rhode Island cannabis dispensary, have caused the state to take a closer look into the company. An investigation began after a $500,000 license renewal check from the company bounced not once, but twice after the state tried to deposit it. Allegations of overdue and unpaid invoices to marijuana cultivators in excess of $500,000 also started to surface. The license for renewal was ultimately handled, according to 12 News WPRI, but regulators are still investigating the company for a number of reasons, including discrepancies in their inventory. The Slater Center chalked up the irregularities to simple bookkeeping errors and says that they're not experiencing any cash flow problems. The company has cooperated with officials and has not received a fine or any type of sanction at this point in time. Black Cannabis Week Boston is hosting their first multi-day cannabis event series beginning on August 7th. The first ever Black Cannabis Week Boston is happening this month. The full week of events aim to shine a spotlight on the challenges and opportunities faced by the black community within the legal cannabis market. Scheduled to take place between August 7th to August 13th at various locations, Black Cannabis Week Boston offers a week full of education, networking, entertainment, and empowerment. From educational panels, cookouts, to a special musical performance, this is a unique opportunity to engage with the Massachusetts black cannabis community and collaborate on finding solutions for a more inclusive cannabis industry. To learn more about Black Cannabis Week Boston, please visit their website and RSVP or purchase tickets at blackcannabisweekboston.com. The Drinkable Company, founded by beverage industry veterans Mark Mahoney and Lee Brody, has introduced a new line of cannabis-infused beverages available in Massachusetts and Maine. The product range includes Zenith Cold Brew Coffee, Tiger Tea, and Swivel Craft Soda, each containing 5 milligrams of full-spectrum cannabis oil. Unlike many seltzer-based cannabis beverages, the drinkable company's offerings are designed to appeal to a wide variety of tastes, including coffee lovers and soda enthusiasts. The three beverage lines are now available in select dispensaries across the two states, diversifying and expanding cannabis offerings in New England. Last but not least, the Vermont Cannabis Control Board is inviting stakeholders to have their voices heard regarding the state's medical cannabis program. In compliance with Act 65, the Cannabis Control Board has announced a series of four remote meetings over the next few weeks aimed at gathering public insight and recommendations on a range of key areas. Topics for discussion include determining the conditions that qualify for medical cannabis, 
identifying appropriate strains for specific conditions, setting dosing and treatment standards, and exploring any other avenues that might enhance the program. First meeting is being held on August 8th. For more information on how to participate, please visit our website. For the absolute latest New England cannabis news, head on over to necnewstoday.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video. Subscribe to NEC News Today for more great content and hit the bell icon so you never miss an episode of the show. For New England Cannabis News Today, this is Jeremiah McKinnon reminding you to always use cannabis responsibly and to enjoy your cannabis-filled adventures throughout New England.